Hey, I am Pam Murphy. I'm the Executive Director of the Shenandoah Community Health Clinic. We are so honored to be working alongside school uh, personnel with all, helping all the kids in, in Shenandoah County, and it has been a real pleasure to do so. Um, a couple years ago when the school administrators first came to us and told us there were mental health issues with so many students in the schools, we just had no idea uh, what that would look like and the volume that we were talking about. Um, but we ran a pilot program last year and we were very surprised at, at uh, what we were seeing. Our dentist came in one day and said, with tears in his eyes, came to my office and said, I understand why we're there. I know why we're there. And he talked about two little girls who really missed their mama, who, you know, she was in prison. And he was just trying to figure out who was going to sign off on their consent forms to get more care. Um, our medical practitioner came in and talked about uh, seeing two children in the same day that she screened for mental health, uh, depression, suicidality, that they were suicidal. Um, our counselor you know, uh, really filled up very quickly, the counselor we had assigned to that campus, um, and she talked about a little girl who saw her drunken dad beat up her mom till she was unrecognizable, another uh, teenage boy who it was really grieving over the untimely death of a parent, um, and, and all the family factors that go into just uh, being a kid and, and having to, to grow up in, in difficult circumstances. So uh, we became real believers in the, the needs there, and, and I think many of you know that we've really tried very hard this year to get counselors into all the schools. Um, we're so thrilled that you are doing the United Way campaign because uh, we know that those monies can, can go a long way to help many different agencies. Um, we would love to have your support if you uh, don't already have a favorite charity to help us with some of these programs that we're bringing into the schools. Uh, one of the things that, that we see, if you could designate funds, and you are allowed to do that, if you designated funds to the community health clinic, Shenandoah Community Health Clinic, um, that gives us more flexibility than anything else. The, one of the things that we're seeing this year that we, you know, there's always surprises. At month to month, we find new things that we didn't realize would happen, such as our counselor in the Strasburg schools is asking our main site and clinic, uh, it, the main site clinic site in Woodstock, to stay open uh, a little later on some nights because she needs to meet with families, and the families can only meet at night. Um, the uh, Woodstock schools were, were very concerned that one full-time counselor is not going to be enough for them because they're just a bigger campus with more students. We're constantly trying to adjust to health services on the southern campus to try to meet the, the needs there, but most of that is not grant funded. And so, you know, again, we're just, we're trying to find funds to react to the needs in real time uh, and, and try to solve some of the problems as, as we encounter them. Um, so the, the very best and most optimum solution is to designate funds, which gives us that real-time flexibility to react to those problems. Um, we do get some United Way grants as well, and we love those. Uh, they are only last for a year. Uh, they're never as much as we, we always ask for. Um, and you know we are committed for a year to spend the monies on those from those grants on exactly what we've asked for, which is great. Uh, but you know some of these things that we're finding, you know, like I said, month to month, you know, nobody's covering through any kind of grant fund. So uh, just putting in a plug for those designated funds as you're you're thinking about how to to contribute to United Way. Um, it is a great organization. It helps a lot of nonprofits in the community, and we're happy to be a part of, of uh, their network of, of nonprofits. Thank you very much for all you do.